Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to be demoing Pixlr. Um, so just go to pixlr.com. Um, the objective of this tutorial is to teach you how to use some of the quick features um, to do image editing. So just click jump in to get started. We're going to be creating a new image. Let's call this a banner because we're going to be making a banner. Um, the width, let's put 900. And the height, make it 200. And we'll click OK. Now here you're we want to make sure we look at the left hand side um, use the move tool right now and let's just stretch the banner a little bit um, so the banner is essentially the area we're going to be inserting and moving images into because that's the image we want to have in the final process um, now the next thing we want to do is find images that we want to put into our banner so let's see let's go online to google images and find something to use okay let's click here now we need to find the image URL uh, up here we can take this image URL or we can right click on the image and click copy image URL and then go back to the program click file open from URL you can click you can right click and click paste or hit control V then click OK. Now your image has been brought into Pixlr. Um, one thing to make sure you do is on the right hand side in layers is to double click on uh, the locks, the lock that's there. Uh, that will prevent it from, that will allow you to copy the image or crop it in any way. Same thing for the banner in the banner image file. Uh, double click on the little lock on the right hand side under layers. So we'll make our working situation easier to handle. Um, next click on the marquee tool and the marquee tool allows you to highlight a particular section you want to bring into your banner. So let's just highlight a portion of it like so and let go. Um, click edit, copy or control C and then just click edit, paste. Now you now jump back to the move tool, which is this arrow, and this will let you move the image around. Just like that. It's really nice. Um, let's find one more image. Let's see, a sleeping koala bear. Copy image roll. That image might be too small for the last part. Let's look for something different. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to take this URL. We're going to This is another way to copy the URL. Right click, copy. We're going to file, open from URL. Hit control V to paste, open it. Now we got our image. We're going to use the marquee tool. Grab a portion, edit, copy. Click on the banner image file, hit edit, paste. And we're going to move the image into place. Um, so the, again, like I said, the image isn't as big enough. So again, use the images that will fit the size of your banner. Uh, now, one thing you want to note is there is a layers tool here on the right-hand side. And that's really helpful uh, in sort of organizing your images. Maybe you want the flowers to appear on top or the koala to appear on bottom. So let me move, move the... So, if you want to work on a particular image, you need to click on that layer. So layer 2 has the koala bear. And so we move the koala bear over, and let's say we want to show the flowers on top over the koala bear. Use the down tool, down arrow to move it down, or move the koala bear back up, or whichever one you want to move. Um, but if you want to move the, the flowers, you need to click on layer 1 in this case to move the flowers back and forth. Okay. Now let's just quickly um, add text. 
in here so just click the A this symbol here has A and just say koala bear um, then if then click control A to highlight that size let's make it a little larger and then color let's make it red it's a little hard to see um, then again you can click on the move tool which is the arrow and then you can move it around then once you're done click file save banner you can change the quality 80 is usually a good spot um, you can make it 100 if you like to you can also change the format to port PNG which is portable network graphics which is also a good format for images click OK uh, and then just click save and there you go